taxes or cuts or whatever it is we're talking about, jobs. Whatever our budget deficit we've agreed upon now is whether it's 8.5 as we are now or 9 or 8.3, anywhere in that area. The money that we've received this year, and I know my colleagues have mentioned this, but I feel the need to emphasize it. The $1.4 billion in rainy day fund, the $1.5 billion in surplus money, excuse me, stimulus money, the close to a billion dollars in borrowing and one-time expenditures, I mean, that puts us over $4 billion of that $8.5 billion. And that's great. That's health for us at this point. But what do we do in two years? What do we do in two years? And, and I guess my biggest concern, as other people have mentioned, is the fact that we tax people. And it's not about, can you afford it? Can that business afford it? Can Who's going to leave? Who's going to come back? These people represent jobs. The people that can most afford to leave this state are the people who represent jobs. And the only way to get out of a recession is more jobs. And that's what it's about. It's not about who makes a half a million, who makes three million, who makes how much money we're talking about. That's not what this is about. It's about helping this state get out of a recession. And I guess, to me, this is a band-aid. Because we're going to put ourselves in a situation in two years that is just as bad as the situation we're in now. And we won't have that money that we've used this time. And what happens then? More taxes in two years.